fully know your master? Mm-hmm. You can never fully know him. You can never fully know him. Every day he's going to show you another different side. But you may come close to him. What does it mean to come close to him, to know him? Allah is saying, my servant, again I'm going back to that Hadith Quds. My servant becomes beloved to me when he does the obligations. Meaning when I tell him to do something, he does it. And Allah will love you for it. Allah, Allah. Is there a master in this world that will love you because he says, do this? No, they said, you do it. I expect you to do it. What, you want me to love you now? This is human. You understand? What a Lord, what a master we have. I pay you. I don't have to love you. But Allah is saying, if I give you an obligation and you fulfill it, I will love you. What it means when Allah loves? What it means when you love someone? What it means? What, you guys never fall in love before? Huh? Huh? Oh, that is your level. Okay. Somewhat. Which friends are your best friends? No, Allah will not disappear. There's no trying with Allah. When you're in love, there's no trying. There is no... You try your best. There's no trying your best. You do it. The moth doesn't try to get close to the flame. It jumps to the flame. That is ashk. He's going to say, oh, that's why you disappear. It's not the same. If you think it's the same, shaitan is just playing with you. That is just philosophy. What it means to disappear? Allah is not disappearing. You, what it means to disappear? I know. And I'm saying that level is wrong. What is that disappearing it means if the moth is going to disappear into the flame? Just disappear? Simple. The moth goes to the fire. He completely destroys himself. It's not disappearing. Oh, now you see me, now you don't. He burns himself, you understand? He dies. He burns himself. There is pain. There is hurt. It's not just sacrifice, also just sacrifice. Because now these words don't mean too much. People are saying love, sacrifice, this. We test them with a little bit. We touch them with a little bit of pain, they scream. And when we give them something that they really want, they become ungrateful. They never even say thank you. Oh, of course we say thank you. Later we say thank you. We say, yeah, that's right. If you put me in the front, that's the first thing you're going to remember. Hmm. They want, they want, they want. Please, 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 please pray for us, please. <sighs> they get it, say, Oh, I'm so happy. What happened? Oh, you know, they didn't say, ah, They got this. They said, Oh, mashallah. Yeah, I know we can do this. Ah. I said, Oh, okay. Counting, 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 nothing. So, oh, now we remember how people used to treat Shah Fendi. They never even call to say thank you. Very bad. Allah is putting a curse on the ungrateful ones. And Allah is complaining to his prophet. And the Miraj say, your nation, they are ungrateful. You think Allah doesn't have a heart? Hmm. So, going into the flame, disappear, words. What? If we tell you, oh, you have an idea, you have a thought, you have a something that you like, 
and we say that is wrong, make that to disappear. You have words that you say, says that is wrong, make that to disappear. Oh, what do you mean? Already they are pulling back. It's nothing. So what is it that is lost? There is no trying. There is no desire. We spoke about servanthood. Everything is for him. Everything. Everything. Your aim is to make that one happy. Isn't that what it is? I don't know. I know a little bit. What is it that makes you happy? This. What else? This. Whatever makes you happy. Mm. What happens when you love someone and you're giving everything that makes that person to be happy? Will you know that one or no? Of course you will. Of course you will. Because you know what makes him happy and what doesn't make him happy. And that one doesn't even have to speak with a look, <laughs> with a pull of a breath, with a movement. You already know what is in the heart. Correct or no? How does that make you to know yourself? It makes you to know yourself as a servant to Allah. Then you know yourself. These are the things that is stopping me. A proudness, you can never be a servant if you're proud. A stubbornness, you can never be a stubborn one. Yeah, a servant if you're stubborn. All those wrong characteristics that we inherit from shaitan. Shaitan is a bad servant to Allah. Because shaitan was aiming for that maqam al-Mahmud, not for Allah's sake, but for himself. Which is why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that's not for you, he's not saying, I hear and I obey as you like. I love you, I worship you, you are the only one I worship. He's not saying that. He got very upset. <sighs> Inshallah. This is um, just to make us to understand a little bit what is that, that level of servanthood, what is that level of... We look at our Shaykh all the time. We look at how he is putting his Lord and his Prophet all the time. And we see how so many times he is hurting. We are not Buddhists huh, to say we come to a level where nothing hurts us. No. Where we say, oh, it is everything is the same. No. Holy Prophet said to Islam, Alhamdulillah, he was a human being. We are human beings. We can follow. If he was an angel, Never will be able to follow. When he is happy, he is showing it. When he's sad, he is showing it too. May Allah forgive me. Fatiha.